Hey there, I know this is going to seem kind of silly, Heather, you're reading a children's book. Why? Because actually we can still learn a lot from going back to the basics, right? We can still learn a lot from going back to the foundations. And this is written, oh, Jonathan James and the What If Monster. Let's see, uh, by Michelle Nelson Schmidt. Okay, so let's see if we can, I want to see if I can get a better... Oops, I can't. All right. What do we got here? Some what if monsters. Let's see how to best do this. Some what if monsters like to hang out and fill up your heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and you look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and it makes you feel sad? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? <laughs> what if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? Actually, his name's Jim and he sleeps in my bed. What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and you never get fast? I sound like a mean girl all of a sudden. What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now, just wait a minute. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asked Jonathan James. And what if it tastes some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a really great time no matter what place? And what if I sleep and I have the best dream? The monsters are sweeter than they seem. And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? How many of you, especially on the health journey, right, get stuck in that what if monster? You know, I think the reason why I'm a big fan of coaching and coaches because um, most folks are just focused on the treatment, the treatment, the treatment. But there's a huge piece of foundational stuff that also starts with mindset, right? Um, you know, our thoughts during the day, actually, you know, our thoughts create a physical chemical reaction in our body. Have you ever thought of something that turns you on? Tell me your physical body doesn't have a reaction to your thoughts, right? So a lot of times the most successful people are the ones that can overcome that what if monster and start reprogramming something new. It's part of the reason why I got the bioenergetic work into uh, my practice. And then I also teach the somatic experiencing work, little exercises that done every day can help switch that nervous system from fight or flight and stuck in that everything's gonna get you and everything's wrong into rest and digest and heal. It is possible. 
it takes time, it takes some guidance, and it takes learning something new and having a new mindset. Don't get caught up in that toxic positivity, right? Because that's not what I'm talking about. It's a tool. It's one piece of the journey, but it definitely needs to be addressed. Stay tuned and have a healthy day.